Hello, my name is Dr. Hannah Wardle, and I'm fascinated by one of our closest but tiniest friends, bacteria. To many people's surprise, almost the entire human body is covered in bacteria. And actually, we need these little guys to survive. I know it sounds weird to think that us humans live in harmony with these bacteria. The same bacteria that we often associate with nasty diseases like tuberculosis, or day-to-day -day troubles like a sore throat or an ear infection. But what's really important to understand is that not all bacteria are bad. In fact, there are lots and lots of good bacteria, and actually many of them do things that us humans simply cannot do alone. Take, for example, a delicious bowl of pasta. That bowl of pasta contains really large and complex nutrients that are far too complicated for us to digest ourselves. Luckily though, the bacteria that live in our intestines have the machinery needed to break them down into much smaller pieces that we can then use as energy. Out of all of the bacteria in the body, the ones in our intestines, in my opinion, are the most interesting. There are trillions of bacteria in our intestines. That's more bacteria than the number of stars in the world. In fact, if you collected all of these bacteria and you weighed them, there would be about two kilos of bacteria in the adult human gut. Now usually, these bacteria live pretty happily in our intestines. Our intestines provide the perfect home for them, and in return, they help us eat that bowl of pasta. But what we also know is that they help build our immune system so that we can fight off diseases, and they also help our brain be as healthy as possible. But what we also know is that these bacteria are kind of sensitive, especially the good ones. My research is looking at how the medicines that we commonly use to treat many diseases like cancer affect these bacteria. My research has shown that many of these medicines are pretty damaging to the bacteria in our intestines, causing the bad bacteria to dominate the environment within our gut. So what are we doing about it? Well, we're seeing if we can put the good bacteria back into people's gut using poo. You see, your poo is full of these good bacteria. So we're collecting poo from healthy people and giving it to people with cancer that have too many bad bacteria in their gut. We hope that by doing this, we can help support the good bacteria in people's gut and help people with cancer feel the best they possibly can throughout their treatment.